All right, everybody, it's the next day, and I woke up a little bit earlier this morning to try and get, remove those trees that, uh, that we had to cut down for these guys to get in there and uh, do their job. So I think I think that'd be a good good task for uh, for this Saturday because uh, we spent all last night working on that truck and uh, waiting on more parts to come in for that so I can uh, do more with it. But yeah, I, th I think it'd be a fun little project. Probably just use the little trailer I got so I don't have to worry about uh, using anybody else's. Um, so just make it a lot easier and uh, maybe we can go sell it makes a little extra money uh, I think today also I'm going to take some parts off of the uh, parts truck I got I'm gonna try uh, I'd like to get the motor out the transmission out so I can uh, start selling parts off of it because I don't I don't think I'm gonna need that motor that's in the truck because it has a spare in the bed so I'll just keep it laying around somewhere but this one's got no blow by it does leak oil which I mean what what can I really do about that? Um, I can try and reseal the whole motor, but uh, that's just going to be a time-consuming pro process. So, but yeah, for the meantime, I think we'll just focus on that. So, this thing, I literally just washed this thing yesterday, and it is filthy. Well, I guess I didn't really wash it. I kind of let the let Mother Nature wash it, but maybe I uh, maybe I should give this thing an actual wash. But. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started with today, guys. So here we go. got the first tree all cut up um, got some pretty good size uh, logs here and I uh, got the bed full of all the little branches and stuff so uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and start uh, start with the next one it, uh, it kind of took a little bit to chop all that up but uh, we we got it done and uh, I just noticed dad uh, dad must have got home I don't know exactly when but he uh he's usually not around much anymore. He's working so much all the time. But yeah, it's it's what he likes to do, so I'll uh I usually uh, just kind of keep the place held down for him while he's out doing stuff. So, drive over here. Try not to tear up the grass too much. We don't really have much of it left around this area. All right. Let's get started on these. Tree number two is loaded up. It's uh, it's starting to get starting to get a little bit heavy, um, but nothing the old six six nine can't handle. So we're gonna go ahead and chop this tree up and see if we can load it on that trailer. And uh, hopefully it's not too overloaded. But uh, I'm gonna try and be obviously respectful and courteous to other people out there. So I'm going to make sure I don't have too much stuff on it so it's flying out at people. So we're going to go ahead and start on this one. Okay, the third tree is on the trailer. It ain't looking too bad. These trees are a little bit... Oh, I almost missed one. These trees are a little bit lighter than the other ones that we were cutting. So I think we should be fine with getting that last one over there loaded up. So... We'll go ahead and give it a shot. All the trees that we had to uh, had to remove are all cut up and thrown onto the trailer in the bed of the old 6.9 here. So I think we're going to make a trip down to the lumber mill. If they're open, I believe. I, I think they close at like 1 or noon, possibly. So we'll make a trip over there and sell all this. I'm going to load up everything I have in the shed back uh, piled in the corner. 
you know, try and hopefully get a little bit more extra money for uh, more parts for the, the old Dodge so I can hurry the process up and get that thing fixed because I would like to start using it <laughs> as soon as I can. Maybe uh, keep all the miles off this thing, you know, because this thing is a pretty, uh, pretty old nice truck. So, and I definitely don't want to keep daily driving it and scratching it, denting it, you know, and worry about people having to back into it and stuff like that because... I mean, this thing's got some uh, sentimental value to it, so I would like to keep it nice. But uh, it'll still get used, just probably not as much. The Dodge will probably be the new uh, the new daily rig. We're going to go ahead and get everything strapped down here, so we don't worry about anything flying. At least so I can get to the shed and not worry about stuff. There we go. Go ahead and head over to the shed. i got to go all the way around, because if you guys haven't seen the last video... Uh, Tri-State already dug the trench, um, since it's the weekend, these guys aren't working, they only work Monday through Friday, but, uh, yeah, they, uh, they've made quite a bit of progress just in the week. They were nice enough to let me grade this, and, uh, at least remove the top, uh, layer of dirt for them, and, uh, I got to haul it back to their shop and dump it off, so that was, that was pretty cool. But, uh, now they're, they're getting ready to lay all the, uh, conduit in the ground for the, uh, the main feed coming into the shed. Uh, I know they had Amarin out here. I, I think it was Amarin uh, checking the telephone pole and getting a transformer ready to tap on to to step down to the correct voltage to get into the shed. So it's it's a pretty cool process. I'm surprised this tree was able to stay because it's just kind of hanging out right in the ditch. But yeah, it's a it's a cool process to watch all this get done. Uh, these uh these guys definitely don't mess around when it comes to work so it is kind of cool gives me kind of a i don't know an idea of maybe what i want to do down the road i don't think i'll be doing landscaping for the rest of my life but we'll see if i can get a big enough business going or enough clientele then it might might happen but for now just got my little trailer and my truck i would drive through the building but it's all nice new concrete and I don't want to drive through there with my dirty truck. Yeah, it's coming together very nicely. I I cannot wait till this is done. It's going to be sweet. Need to go get a stump grinder and grind up all these stumps, but I don't know anybody with one. I might be able to have Dad get a rental company to uh, bring one or deliver one or let us go pick it up. Because we had a friend that has one, but the uh, hydraulic line on it was uh, malfunctioning or leaking or something. I can't remember. And uh, it wasn't engaging the blade, so that was kind of a bummer. But it is what it is. Go ahead and unstrap this, and we'll load all these logs up. Try not to scratch the Dodge. Okay, now this, yeah, that was kind of a mess. Uh, they kept falling down, but I, I don't, I can't really stack them any better than that. Um, so, yeah, at least got them all on there, got them all loaded up. So now we're going to go ahead and head down to the lumber mill and uh, get rid of all this crap. So I will get back to you guys when we get there. <laughs> 